So are you the kind of mom that just like blow up? Oh my God, he is so adorable. Stop it, look at oh. his arms. Don't you want to eat him? Yes, I, I do. I, 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 Oh my goodness, look, let me tell you now, enjoy it while you can. My son is just backstage and he up here now. And everybody like, oh, we thought he was still little. It goes so fast. Embrace it. We don't understand that when we are in the middle of that phase, we think we have a forever. But then oh. once they get to like 12 and 13, it's like, who is this man? Oh. And where are these kids coming from? So embrace it, because that's just a fun phase oh. right there. Like, okay, so for me as a mom, Back then, it's like, okay, you want to throw everything at them. Like, I took my kid to Disney World, couldn't ride no rides. Yeah, yeah. Well, they yes. just want. Are you that type of mom where you want to do everything and throw the big parties and all of that stuff right now? Oh, yes, yes. I go hard. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, this is my one. I'm going to, and it might be my only one. Okay. So what I'm, think? I think so. I think maybe yeah. this is it. And I come from a really big family. So to have just one is, everybody's super surprised by that. But I, because of that, I'm just, I mean, his first birthday was like his first wedding. Do you know? I was Aww. like, here we go. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. you made late, so okay. I'm like, I'm like, this is we're gonna we're gonna really do it up. It was raining. It was like the worst day of February, and so I got wedding tents to make sure he had his outdoor soft play, and there was like a hundred people. Everybody that has helped me on my journey, yeah. was there. It's a celebration for it was, everyone. It was a celebration for every. That's how I felt. I was felt like I was saying thank you to all the people that helped me raise him thus mm -hmm. far. Saying thank you to the fact that, okay, now why I can, how is it that you could feel tears rising in your body? That the week, that week of his life, a year prior, was the scariest week of my mm, life. He was in the NICU. How, uh -huh. And it was just a celebration that we were there. Right. We were there a year later and he was with us and he's healthy and he's, he's vibrant gorgeous. and he's just wonderful. So. I was like, I have to, I have to celebrate this. I Definitely. Like, yeah. Look how precious he is. <laughs> He's so little. He's so much bigger now. Oh my, see how quick it goes? Even you fast. just said that just looking at it, right? I know, it's wild. Wow. It's so wild. You have a whole little person. And then you said you were gonna have birth at home originally, but you had difficulties. Tell us about that. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's, it's so funny. It's like the saying, you know, you tell God, um, you want to make God laugh, you tell him your plans. Mm -hmm. And that was exactly it. Um, I, I just thought I was going to, like, give birth in my tub with, like, you know, like, yeah. rose Somebody petals. Said, right. yeah, no, rose no. petals and, like, beautiful music playing. And um, we had no music. It was completely silent. I did 13 hours at the house. Got to oh. 10 centimeters, dislocated my hip. <gasps> um, women are crazy. It's back in. <laughs> it's like, everything's back together somehow, some way. And then we had to go to the hospital. And then it was like five more hours of pushing. Mm. And then he lost oxygen in the, in the pushing, pushing fate. I don't, I'm not a doctor, y'all. I'm an actor. I haven't even played one on TV, so I can't even get to pretend <laughs> like words. But you're a mama. But I'm a mama, yeah. And he yes. came out and he had to go through this incredible experience. The, I just, I give my life to all the doctors and the nurses at Cedar sinai all the NICU nurses. I mean, yes. Now you have your blessing. Just, it was such a blessing. It was such a blessing. And it was wild because I had met um, an incredible woman who I had spoken to before going into labor. She, is very intuitive. She like speaks to your ancestors, and she, mm. um, if for anybody who you know, uh, lives by that journey. And uh, she had told me she was like, uh, "Wow, there's a lot of uh, angels around you. Mm. There's like warriors at your hip. Odd, right? That one of my <sighs> hips went out. Warriors at your hip, and there's two more at the base of your feet, and you know, and your grandmother's with you. Oh, I'm getting chills. I'm getting chills. Yeah, listening. your grandmother's with you, and your great grandmother, and all the women are just crowding around you that have like moved on." And, uh, and you're, just, you're just covered in angels. You're covered in angels. And I thought, oh, okay, then that means like this is gonna be like easy. Yes. Like I got this, I'm covered in angels. And then by the fifth day in the NICU, I was like, oh, here are all the angels. Wow. Here they are. They're like, you told me I was covered because there were so many. They were there. That helped me that, through that experience. Through the birth. Oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah, I was like, oh. Okay, yeah, that I was is covered in angels. Chilling. That was wild. God always got somebody to pull I, you through. That is for sure. Wow. Yeah, wild. Yes. I didn't even know we were gonna go here this quickly. I thought we yeah. Were gonna... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It was really, it was a pretty special experience. So we raged on his birthday. I was like, we are going all out. We are gonna just thank everyone and everything. 
They say it takes a village. It does. It does. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.